As we continue to monitor Typhoon Odette's trail of destruction, some local governments say they had little to no time to prepare as warnings about the storm's intensity was supposedly lacking. To discuss that, we have one news chief correspondent, Ed Lingao. Ed, we were just talking about this uh, last night uh, as, a, as a chief. When we say that there was a forecast, there was warning, uh, what's there to qualify, what's there to understand? Well, simply the question in everybody, everybody's mind is where we caught flat foot. And the simple answer is yes. Pero yung dahilan is a bit more complicated. Eh. Uh, for, for context, all the weather agencies, both here and abroad, expected a moderate strength typhoon lamang. Pagasa predicted a peak strength of uh, only 155 kph. Mm. Yung Joint Typhoon Weather Center in Hawaii uh, of the U.S. predicted only a Category 2 typhoon. The problem is, in a span of less than two days, Odette doubled in intensity. Now, we have yeah, you see that simple line graph uh, there to show you just mm. how fast mm. things develop, faster than anybody expected. If you look at the graph, uh, the red line represents the gustiness or yung bugso ng hangin. Yellow is the sustained winds. Now, Odette made landfall on Thursday afternoon. A little uh, to, to the right, you will see the red line. Uh, as of 11 a.m. of Thursday, Odette's gustiness was still at uh, 185 kph. Pero by 2 p.m., when it hit Siargao, it was already at 240 kph. At 5 p.m., when it hit Liloan in Leyte, it was at 270 kph. So that's an increase of almost 100 kph in just six hours. So was it possible for Pagasa to predict this increase? Well, not with the technology that we have because there are too many factors to consider from temperature of the sea to wind shear. In fact, even the Americans were just as surprised. The U.S. Joint Typhoon Weather Center calls it an impressive rapid intensification of the storm. And that's just another way of saying they also did not expect this to happen. Okay. Maraming salamat, Ed. That was One News Chief Correspondent, Ed Lingao.